calculate cos inverse cos 5. How do we calculate this? See, we should get the answer to this one. So let us take the answer to be y. And the condition is y should lie in the range of cos inverse which is 0 to pi. Our answer should lie in this interval. Clear with this point? Next. Shift cos inverse to the other side. It will become cos y. And this no change. Now comparing both sides we get y to be 5. Does this lie in this interval? No. So reject this answer. Next. Cos 5 exceeds that interval. So we should decrease it. To decrease I subtract to 2 pi. Now whatever we are subtracting we should also add the same thing. Here important point to be remembered. In cos inverse sums we should always subtract only the even multiples of pi that is 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi like that remember this next cos now this 2 pi i write at the start followed by this in the brackets okay next here we have pi, so cos is not going to change, it will remain cos. And inside we get this angle phi minus 2 pi. Now the question is, will we get here plus or minus? To answer that, we should look at the number before pi, which is 2. And 2 is even. And all the even multiples of pi, they lie in either in the first or in the fourth quadrant. So now to select the quadrant, we should look at this symbol. Here we have plus, that means angle lies in the first quadrant. And in the first quadrant, cos is positive. So put plus. Next, if we calculate this, we get, the, we get this in negative. But negative values are not present in the interval. So what I do is, I take negative common. When I take negative common from this, these will interchange. We get 2 pi minus 5. Okay, next. Now on this, I will apply the formula. Cos minus theta is cos theta. Negative angle becomes positive. So this negative symbol we don't need to write we get cos 2 pi minus 5. Now on the other side, no change. Equal to cos y. Now comparing both sides, we get y to be 2 pi minus 5. Does this lie in this interval? Yes. So this is our answer. 